Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Hacking Self Stories. It's Tuesday morning, and what we do on Tuesdays is we run through last week's figures for Clough Road. Uh, it was an interesting week last week, and I'll get into the reasons why in a minute. Right, so we had 44 quotes, the most quotes we've ever had at Clough Road. Incredible, absolutely fantastic week, no doubt about it. Clough Road seems to be the busier of the two sites at the minute. We seem to have more quotes at Clough Road than we do at Willoughby, which is, I didn't expect that to be honest. Clough Road is in a better position, but Willoughby has less competition around it, I suppose, if you like. So yeah, it's a bit of a, a bit of a surprise, but what's happening at Clough Road is that our conversions are lower. And you somewhat can understand that purely because we're more, uh, we're, we're more expensive. And the reason we're more expensive is because we're trying to manage the occupancy at the level at the minute. So phase one is all built. We're around 76% full. I'll get into the exact figures in a minute. Around about 76% full. However, um, phase two isn't being built for another five weeks. And then it's going to take another four weeks to install. So we've got nine weeks. So it's, like I said before, it's a bit of a mess because we should have put in the order earlier, but I didn't want to order it quicker than we needed it because of if uh, for cash flow, etc. So um, we never expected this. We never expected to be this busy, which is fantastic. Um, but still, equally, we've got to manage the occupancy now. So we've got to make sure that we increase the prices, and therefore we're absolutely getting the best bang for our buck that we can do. So the price per square foot will be going up. Um, because obviously availability go, is, is going down, so supply and demand. So 44 quotes, number of reservations, four. Oh, yes, you heard that right. I said it. Number of reservations, four. So we have a 9% conversion rate, which is silly. Um, I do expect more of them customers to, to uh, reserve this week, so hopefully we'll be double digits reservations for Clough Road this week. That's what I'm expecting. That's what I'm hoping. Um, well, I'm, I'm very mindful about the occupancy as well because I don't want to get full. You never ever should get full because if you're full, that means you you can't get you can't have any more customers coming in. And the reason why you shouldn't be full is because if you're full, then you're not rev, you're not doing the revenue management correct. Which at Beverly we're getting to, we're getting to um, a ninety something percent full at Beverly. So we have to again rev, uh, we have to manage that occupancy. We've got no space for new units at Beverly, so we've got to really make sure we manage that uh, very very carefully. Okay, so. The square foot, the reservations were 325 square foot. Number of move-ins, we had six move-ins um, and that was for 670 square foot. So that was a conversion rate for quotes to move-ins of 14%. Again, nowhere near where we wanna be, but there is reasons for that. We had four move-outs and that was for 375 square foot. So we was around about 300 square foot up last week, um, which, which was nice considering that we didn't do many reservations. Right, where did the quotes come from? I hear you ask. Well, I'm going to tell you. Interestingly, well, not interestingly at all. Um, well, it is. It is kind of interesting. It mirrors exactly what is happening at um, Willoughby. So, at Willoughby, I think it was 60% of our quotes last week came from Google. Um, at Clough Road, 56% of our quotes came from Google. It was 23 quotes. Uh, Ten came from passing by. Obviously, you'd expect that because of how prominent the location is. That's 24%. We had two from social media, that's 5%. And we had word of mouth, we had four, which was 10%. Um, and we had two customers with incorrect responses as well. Um, let's have a look at some other data for you guys. I've got these. The, the reason why I stutter a bit more when I'm giving these figures out because um, we've got... we're, we're we're amalgamating two different softwares together. So we've got Stora and we're using Space Manager. So I'm trying to get all these data points from the same, uh, to just share them with you. So currently at the minute, uh, our monthly reoccurring revenue is £14,585.94. That is if everybody was paying the full rate. But obviously people aren't paying the full rates. Um, and so the gross income in the month so far that we've actually taken, this is actually invoiced and taken, is 6,870. Now, before, the, to, to get to the end of the month, I would like, I would like to be around about 10,000. That is the year. I think we're just going to fall short. I think it's going to be 9,000 and something. Um, but at this point last month, this is what I like about the store here. You get a snapshot. At this same time last month, we'd taken 4,466 pounds, 72 pence. 
And now we're taking £6,870.91 pence. So you can see there's a big uh, there's a big improvement. It's actually 35% improvement, which is nice. You always want to see that improvement going up, obviously. And at the minute, we're still in our rent-free period, which massively helps. So the only thing we're paying is rates. We don't know how much rates are going to be yet, but I would guesstimate around about £4,000 we'll be paying the rates a month. That is actual payable. I'm guessing. It could be less. It could be more. I don't actually know at the, at the minute. Uh, re recurring revenue was £14,585.94, as I mentioned. That is a 25% increase uh, to 30 days ago, which it was £10,897.80. So again, you can see that trajectory going in the right direction. I think my break-even point, after, after all the finances is paid back, it'll be around about £21,000 when we start paying full rent. So I think it's by October-ish, is when we're going to start paying full rent. It'd be amazing if we our gross revenue could be around there. Uh, so it's going to be around about 10,000. And then next month, I want it to be around about 13,000. And I want to try to get up to that 21,000. So we're not in a cash flow deficit at any point. Uh, occupancy at the minute is 76.64%. That is up from, uh, that's up 18 18.53 percent from 30 days ago 30 days ago we was only at 58 percent so have a look at the exact square footage so the exact square footage that's taken at the minute is 7300 we have got another 10 containers ordered as well because our full containers are, are rented at the minute so that'll be nice to go out some more more containers hopefully we can get them rented out as well if we get them rented out within another two months and um, that's another 2000 i said two months because it took us about nine weeks so two months to get them containers rented out and um so with fingers crossed if we do that again within another two months i'll add another two thousand pounds to actual taking cash work that's money we're actually taking so that'll be that'll be well that'd be great fantastic and then obviously we'll order some more containers when uh when when we when we fill up them ones the other ones uh what other information can i give you oh rate per square foot at the minute it's £13.45. Uh, 30 days ago, that was at £12.58. So that's an increase of 6.47%. Uh, that will continue to go up because people are, are going out there rent free, um, their half price offer. So at the minute, we was, were was giving half price offer to everybody uh, for eight weeks. I'm debating now whether to go down to four weeks for most of our units and to have some eight weeks, but most of them um, go for, for four weeks, just purely, again, because of the occupancy, we need to push them prices up to make sure that the we don't have as many movings because otherwise we're going to, it sounds counterintuitive, but otherwise we're going to have an occupancy problem. So we need to take away the offers. Why would you, why would you be, be giving so many offers away when you know full well that we're going to run out of units? Um, like I said, 30 days ago, it was at 58% and now we're at 76%. So on that trajectory, then we will be hitting over 90% full, 95% full in 30 days time, which Oh man, it's gonna be, it's gonna be terrible. <laughs> well, it's gonna be, it's gonna be awesome, but it's gonna be bad because we're gonna have no units to go at. So we've got, to, we've got to manage the situation. And phase two will still not be done and developed either. It'll be absolutely fantastic, you know, when phase two is done. And I, I can almost just when I get to twenty one thousand pound uh, turnover a month at at this site and phase two is done, then I can almost I can just bench it. I don't have to focus so much of my attention on it because I know that's working. I'll have to focus just revenue management and just this is the beauty about self storage once it go, once the revenue hits a, a certain point then it's very very unlikely to ever go past that point below that point again so hopefully it'll just be a cash cow and then i can start focusing on the growth rather a growth of the of the businesses in other areas and trying to find another another clough road than than focusing on clough road and getting it getting it rocking and rolling we've got it rocking and rolling now it's well on its way but the the nice point when um, for me is with that critical point when it's break even, cash flow break even. That is so crucial for me. Uh, occupancy view breakdown. No, I've already told you that. Uh, monthly reoccurring revenue. Yeah, I've told you that. It'd be nice to hit the 15,000 on there. Uh, that's it, my friends. I am done. Okay, tomorrow, what we're going to do tomorrow is we is going to talk about um, the report, the 2022 report. I love it. Absolutely love it. Storage porn. All right, guys, girls, love you. Appreciate you. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow.